it wasn't a party. It was a fundraiser. I didn't do drugs. I barely drank and I didn't speak to boys. I came straight home and prepped for the interview. I know it's a big opportunity and I'm not gonna waste it. Look, your medicine isn't cheap. That's why I'm trying to do everything that I can to land this job so that we can actually afford it. Better give me some wiggle room, okay? Look, I have to go. Make sure you take the recommended dose. Don't scale back, otherwise it's not gonna work. Don't worry about the cost. I'll figure something out, okay? I, I really gotta go. Okay, love you. Bye. This is nice. We don't get a lot of cars like this around here. Spolio got me you like a cow. But I suppose you do have some rather lovely features underneath all that makeup. You don't like my makeup? It makes you look like a slut. But I'm not exactly looking for a good Christian girl, am I? You can call me Rose. I don't care what your name is. All I care about is what you can do for me. Well, um, couple stuff is extra. Oh, honey. Couple stuff doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what I'm looking for tonight. We're not going to flop around on top of you like a couple of dying fish. I want to degrade you in other ways. I want to tease you, humiliate you, hurt you. I mean, you can order off the menu, it'll cost you though. Money is of no object, my time, however, is important. If you don't think you can deliver, I want you to leave the car this instant. But, if you are interested, I'm willing to offer you suitable compensation. $15,000 cash. More money than a girl like you has probably ever seen. For eight hours of your time. But you're going to work for it. Really work for it. Not like all those nights you spend on your back being stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. Money up front? Of course. On two conditions. Firstly, that you sign a non-disclosure and an indemnity agreement. I'm a very influential person and I can't have a word for what happens tonight getting out. And I will not be dragged to the private healthcare system for a couple of bruises and a little bit of blood. I don't ever want to see you again after this evening. Fifteen thousand dollars, one and done, that's it. And the second? You relinquish your phone. Um, no. I don't want any recording devices where we're going. And when we're done, my driver will take you home and you can have it back then. It's all in the agreement. $20,000. No. 17. No. 16. Whilst I appreciate what you're trying to do, you're not worth a cent more than I've already offered you. Street walkers a dime a dozen, you know. If you don't do it, someone else will. Do we have a deal?
didn't want to spring for a hotel room? Didn't want to spring for a clean up. So will you be joining us tonight, hon? Mr. X is a submissive. He lives only to serve. As a sign of devotion, he cut out his own tongue and now his words or whatever I make them. We all have our kinks. Well, at least I'm getting my cardio in for the day. Just in there. Are you serious? What? You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Are you ready to begin? This is next level. How long have you guys been doing this for? Where do you want to Why are you screaming, dear? He hasn't even cut to you. Not yet. We didn't agree on a safe word. What the fuck was that? You nearly killed me. Come now, he didn't come close. A little overzealous, perhaps, but this is what you signed up for. I signed up for hair pulling and some light bondage, not full-blown knife play bullshit. You agreed to play with us for eight hours. You've barely made it ten minutes. Fuck you! Untie me now. I paid for you up front. I'll give you the money back. 
Just untie me, okay? I'm done. I'm disappointed, to say in the least. I understand you're scared. But that was the whole point, wasn't it? <laughs> untie me now. We were supposed to be celebrating our anniversary. I told you not to waste my fucking time. Give me back my money and get the fuck out of my sight. Give me back my phone. You signed a non-disclosure agreement. You can have your phone back when you leave the building. I am leaving the building. Give me back my phone. Talk down to me again, and I will cut you in ways that will make you useless to a man. Fine. Keep the phone, I'll take the money. Consider it cab fare and asshole tax. He's a fucking bitch. Uh, Mr. X, put the whore back on the table. It's about time we taught her some manners.
you ready to begin? 